Hey guys, it's Ross going on the Space Couch today. I'm going to be reviewing this City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. I actually thought it was called City of Stars when I first got it because obviously that minaret forms the eye. Now it's set in the city of Bulikov, which is a capital, the capital of the continent. But this is under the colonial rule of Saipur. Now centuries earlier, when the continent was ruled by the gods, they enslaved the rest of the world. It's an allusion, I suppose, to European colonialism of the 19th century and earlier. The continent was the greatest empire ever known, but it was overthrown and its gods were killed during an uprising by the other regions led by this Saipur region. Now, everything about the past, religion, magic, objects is kept secret and hidden away um, from the citizens of the continent you know um, because they don't want them maybe thinking hey we used to have gods we used to have magic maybe we'll have that back again <laughs> so the main character is a woman called Shari Devani now she is ostensibly a very minor diplomat sent to uh, Saipo's embassy you know like cultural attaché, that sort of thing. But as always, she's actually a spy. Has there ever been a cultural attaché? Who was a cultural attaché? I don't think so. Now, she's been sent there by her aunt, who's very high up in the foreign ministry and in line to be the next prime minister, to look into the murder of a professor from her homeland, uh, who she actually knew and was a student of. Um, and he was researching the ancient history of the continent and its gods and what sort of role they played in society. Did the gods create the society, or did the society create the gods? You know, difficult to know. Now, it does become clear during the course of this investigation that not all the gods were killed. Obviously, very worrying. What, where are they? What are they going to do? What happens if they come back? And slowly Shari comes to understand the truth of what actually happened during the overthrow of the gods and what role her family played in it. All the time uh, she's trying to stop herself and her allies, one of whom is a former lover of hers at university who is now one of Bulikov's leading citizens and also her bodyguard who is a giant viking who also has his own secrets. Uh, he's an assassin, he's not what he seems, although you can figure out what he is, it's not too difficult. Now they're trying to not get killed by her own government, they're trying to cover up the fact that not all of the magic tech went missing. However, once the gods and their former servants start to break free, it all starts to fall apart. The city is in chaos. Now, the city had essentially, when it was first built thousands of years ago, it was built by magic. So it would have been a huge metropolis, absolutely beautiful, you know. But then when the gods fell, it vanished, most of it anyway. It'd be like, say, modern day Dubai suddenly vanishes and is replaced by medieval London, you know, from one state to the other, just like that, you know. It's a shadow of its former glory. Um, the rest of the city does, however, still exist somewhere. And, of course, it didn't all just vanish in the right order. There are places where some bits were vanished, others got added on to others, some buildings fell down into the ground, others got rose up, and there are stairs leading nowhere, everywhere. Hence the title of the book. So when the gods start to break free, they go on a rampage. Because what do gods like to do? They like to punish sinners. <laughs> but that includes wearing makeup, cutting your hair the wrong way, eating at the wrong time of day. The usual sorts of rules that nobody even knows exist or can't even think why it would even be an issue. <laughs> so at the end of the book, we do find out about the gods. We find out about Shari what happened to the gods when the continent was invaded, and it is all pretty satisfying as conclusions go. Now, it is the start of a series, thankfully, because it was too good just to be a one-off. The second one is going to be called City of Blades, uh, again, set in Bulakov, I believe. Uh, there is... a uh, Review as well. The first chapter of that is at the end of this book, and I read that, and it sounds very interesting. Very much looking forward to it. I will pick that up in due course, and you can look forward to a review of it. It might be next year. Who knows when it's out, though? Anyway, guys, I thought you'd enjoy my review of City of Stairs. Please subscribe to my channel if you did. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for a book to review for you. Or why don't you hit that big thumbs up? <laughs>